So when people see you sharing money and see you behaving the way you're behaving and there are no consequences, then that's why they suspect you. That's why you'll be asked, are you in Nigeria? And I'll give you an example. When I went on self exile to Ghana, I realized that Ghanaians are quite a bit slow. They are not as fast as Nigerians. So one day, I had taught my children not to lie. You cannot afford to lie. So they agreed with me. One day, my first son came to visit me from the UK in Ghana. I was on self exile. And then we drove out. And then I just sped past the traffic light. It was red. The policeman stopped me. And I stopped. You beat the traffic light. I said, I did not. I said, You beat the traffic light. I said, I did not. Why did you say that? I said, I saw amber. He said, No, it was red. I said, I saw amber. He said, Are you in Nigeria? I said, Yes. He said, Go, please. <laughs> Perception. No, 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 no. That's what Nigerians do. Don't say perception. Because it's, this is reality. Now, that wasn't my problem. My problem was my son. So he said, Dad, he said we shouldn't lie. I said, yes. That was red. I said, no, I saw Amber. You know, I maintain that I saw Amber. <laughs> not for my son not to learn how to lie. <laughs> if not, I say, yes, I saw, um, I saw red, but unfortunately, I have to be. But my mom told me, if you admit this today, then your son will learn how to lie. Let him better agree that maybe he didn't actually see the red light when you sped past. That's Nigerian behavior. So when people accuse you, when I, foreigners, okay, another example is in, is in Dubai. As Mr. for Transport, I go to Dubai. And then I was to meet with their, uh, not even Mr. for Transport, is it? Uh, yeah, sheikh, one of the sheikhs. Now, a Nigerian approached me and told me what they were passing through. And they wanted to do business here in Nigeria. They wanted one of the, one of the seaports. So I felt this is time to defend Nigeria. So I confronted them. And I said, why are you putting this to Nigerians? They said, no, they are lying to you and all that. Somebody called me behind. One of them said, no, no, no. The reality is that Nigerians, that this country survived in uh, tourism and entertainment, they call it shop attainment. Now, the Nigerians shoot guns and kill themselves in the name of secret court on the street. And that will affect our business, so they have to go to their country where they do the shootings. So they know. You say perception? No, that's reality. How many of you here are from River State? You're from River State? How many of you know, know me very well? All of us. Do I cherish lies? No. We are lying here now. <laughs> the first thing is to accept that there's a problem. That's the premise for which you started. Then you say, oh, no, no, we're not all bad. Nobody say we're all bad. You must first and foremost admit the truth that the Nigerian elites are the greatest problem Nigerians have. Yeah, when you put it that way, I agree. No, we <laughs> don't. So, my grandmother and my village can drive a car in Abuja. They put a leave here. Majority of those who are in this hall today are Nigerian elites. They're the point of Nigeria. And nobody wants to admit that. Oh, uh, paint us good. They, they be painting us. Nigeria is good. Come to Nigeria is good. They become nothing. It, it's nothing has happened. The best got it was you and partially you too. When they say, look, there are no consequences. You talking here that tomorrow you call me and they think you promotion. <laughs> no, see, we, 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 must basically, we must basically admit the truth. The truth is that. Until we agree that the leadership of Nigeria and the foolership of Nigeria are the problems of Nigeria. Yes. Whether etiquette or no etiquette or call it protocol, they are the problems of Nigeria. The leadership in the sense that we do the wrong things that the Lord does not allow us to do. And because what we refer here to our system is poor, I can't do anything to the, the, the leadership. The ordinary poor man can't do anything. They are helpless. But you're, not, you're helpless because you want to be helpless. The things you do here and get away with it, you can't do it in Ghana. Because there will be protests tomorrow morning. You can't do it in Kenya. 